Hello everyone and welcome to yet another tutorial here on Publer. My name is Yorgo and I'm a technical customer support agent here at Publer and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Canva to its fullest potential. There's a few ways you can use Canva with Publer. You can use it inside of Publer as an integration here on the create page at click or drag and drop media and design with Canva. This is while you are creating a post either for a specific social account or just for any account in general. The other way would be here inside the media library where you go to add media. This is simply a way for you to store designs from Canva to the media library so that you can use them again in the future. The other way would be to use Canva outside of Publer and then export those designs to Publer. So let's first take a look at how you can use the integration. So let's suppose we want to create a Canva design for one of our social accounts. One way to do that would be to click or drag and drop media, design with Canva and choose a design type. Now, if I were to choose a specific account first, let's say I choose Facebook and then go to design with Canva, I will be given the option of the design types only for Facebook. So let's choose Facebook post in this case. The same thing would happen for the other accounts as well. Now we will be redirected to the login screen where you should just make sure to log in with your credentials click on login and then you will see Canva show up. You'll see templates, elements, uploads and so on, all the other parts of Canva. You will see free designs that you can use and start um, designing right away. Another thing, on the left hand side, if you go to more and then search for Publer, you will be given the chance to use Publer within Canva. So let's click on use, allow access, and now that we're activating it, we will see our um, workspaces or teams on Publer. So if I click on socials, I'll be able to see all of my illustrations from that media library. So from the media library of the socials workspace. Let's say we want to use this one here. And I can add elements to it. I cannot edit the photo as it is already a ready-made design, but I can add other elements to it. I can add more text. Um, or I can maybe adjust it, crop it, flip it, and so on. However, let's try to use a different design. Let's try to use a design that we haven't seen before. Let's say weekend. Something that will pop up about the weekend. Okay, there we go. So we want to use this design. Now I can choose to add the text here, make it bold, italic, give it a different color. Um, let's say we want it to be kind of red and so on. You can make a lot of edits to this photo. Let's suppose your design is ready. In this case, what you will do is go to add it to Publer. You can also go to folders and then go to all your designs where you will be able to see all of your past designs from Canva. Let's suppose that our uh, illustration is now ready and we want to add it to the post. Simply click on add to Publer. It will be preparing the design and as it is preparing it, we will see it be attached automatically to our current post for this Facebook account. Let's simply save this under Canva designs and let's say Canva draft posts. Let's save this as a draft post so that we can use it in the future. Let's not set a date and time because we are not interested in that right now. Great, we will be able to find this under posts drafts. So if I go to the media library as well, and if I choose Canva here, I will see the design that I just created, TGIF, there we go. Um, the Canva option here button is a filter. It basically shows you all of the Canva designs that you have created and are stored in the media library. Now suppose I want to simply add a design from Canva to the media library. The way I would go about doing that is by clicking on add media, choose design with Canva, choose a design type that you want to create, continue, and then the same process again. So simply choose a design, create it, and then at the end, click on add to Publer. The other way that we can use Canva with Publer is outside of Publer. So here you will be given the choice to log into your account. And as soon as you have done that, you will see your dashboard in Canva with all of your past designs, presentations, and so on. On the top right corner, click on create a design. Let's choose an Instagram post this time. And here, just like on Publer, you will see templates, elements, and so on and so forth. You can use anything you would like. And once you're done, 
you would be given the chance to either download this design, store it in your computer, or share it with Pablo. So let's create a different design. Let's take this one, Weekend Fun, and let's simply just remove this part, and we just want to keep the weekend part. Great, our post is ready, supposedly. Some other things you can do in Canva outside of Publer is you can go to More as well. You can choose Publer, and if it doesn't show up, simply search from it. And you can choose to use a design from one of your um, workspaces. So if we click on Socials, you will see all of your designs and all of your illustrations from that workspace, like the last one that we just created. Of course, if you choose to use those designs, you cannot edit them, but you can definitely add elements to it, of course. Let's not choose to use that because we don't want to ruin our illustration right now. Something you can also see is all of your designs as well. So if you go to all of your designs, you will see all of the designs that you have created with Canva previously. Let's now suppose that our illustration is ready. What we can do is download this and save it in our local storage, or we can share this with Publer. So let's search for Publer, click on it, choose where we want to share this, in which social, in which workspace, so let's choose socials, choose the file type, let's choose PNG, and then click on save. It will be preparing our design, and then at the end, we'll get the option to view this design in Publer. If you click on view in Publer, you'll be redirected to this workspace, more specifically to the media library of that workspace, where you'll be able to see the illustration that we just created. So if we filter by Canva, we'll see the last illustration we created outside of Publer and the one we created inside of Publer. Now, what you can do with these designs is you can select them and you can share them by clicking on share media. They can be shared in a single post, so two photos in one post or multiple posts, so one photo per post. First post, weekend fun, and the second post here second post. You can choose to share this for a couple of social accounts of your own or just for one. And that's one way of sharing your Canva designs from the media library um, to the create page. The other way is when you are in the create page, go to click or drag and drop media, choose library, and here you'll be seeing all of your media library files. So if you choose on Canva, you'll see the Canva designs, and if you click on both of them, the ones that we just created, click on Use Media, they will show up in your post right here. You can choose to share them as a weekend post on your Facebook group with your members. Give them a label so that you can easily find the post next time, and then schedule away. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for joining me in this video walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit about Canva and Publer today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat here or in the comments below. Feel free to also let us know what you would like to see next, what you would like us to cover, what is the next feature that you want to learn more about. Thank you so much for joining in. Bye.